What's up guys? Today, we say goodbye to our 58 Oldsmobile Fiesta. Um, it's a bittersweet day, you know? It's going to a really good home. You guys, 75, super excited about the car. I, however, don't share the same excitement <laughs> as you can probably imagine. But I'm glad it's going to a good home. I'm glad it's staying in America, right? That's important. These things are very popular in Sweden. Let me tell you, they love 58 Oldsmobiles over there. And the Fiesta is kind of, you know, as far as trim. Look at all that trim on the roof, man. It's got the most trim, this model, Fiesta model has the most trim out of any 58 Oldsmobile. And the 58 Caballero is probably the only one that's even close because the 58 Caballero shares the same roof, so. Sorry about the, the little shade here. Um, the truck's coming in like 10 minutes and I just wanted to get a video out taken several of this car um you know it's hard to feel sorry for me we have a 57 fiesta which to a lot of people is the better looking car i totally agree 57 fiesta has cleaner lines 57 anything is going to have cleaner lines compared to 58 right um this car however super hard to find uh, they made 5,000 of them with the roof strips. Super 88 had the roof strips, right? So they made a hardtop model, hardtop station wagon, without the roof strips. So people want the Super 88, obviously. I love that roof trim. If this was my only hardtop wagon, I wouldn't have sold it. But since it's not, we have a 57 Fiesta and a 57 Caballero. Super cool car. Cavalero is probably the, arguably the looking station wagon ever made, right? Um, so, you know, I have a few to fall back on. I'll, uh, I'll manage, right? You know, this is, this is what happens uh, when you're a business owner. This is what happens when, man, this is just life. Sometimes you got to let some go, you know, you can't keep them forever. And, uh, uh, you know, I've already started to just take a peek, you know, of what's out there. <laughs> I would like to find a 57 Cadillac Brome, let me tell you. So it's got our gas strut kit, you know, that's nice. Gas struts. We replace the, the stock liftgate supports. You know, we do, if you have a Tri-5 Chevy, Tri-5 Nomad, you know that we do the gas strut thing, so... I made a kit for this car because we had three of them and I, I don't like the original uh, design. They're kind of a pain in the ass. This is so much better. And uh, I actually sold probably about, I don't know, 50 kits. Let's see what the inside of this thing. Interior is original, 58. And it's in pretty decent shape. You know, it's, it's got the, so, the, the threads have gone in the front, but it's still elastic though so my interior lady said that she could she could sew that up um it's still in really good shape this is leather and this is whatever but you know very very acceptable um this is not a resource restored car by any means and we didn't sell it as such um but for a driver man that's very acceptable at least for me Sew that up, you're good to go, man. And then I pulled the, the dash off, uh, the padded dash, because it was it was peeling, it was looking bad, and now obviously it looks bad, but I had, I had planned to paint it, paint it the light green color, and she'd be good to go. It's just a driver, you know? In my opinion, it needs white walls. 
you know it needs to be lowered in my opinion i've lowered both the 57 cavalero and the 57 fiesta and they just look amazing when they're lowered i kept it classy though on buick i lowered it with white walls and hubcaps on the 57 fiesta i did a um what do they call those uh the chrome steelies but i used uh are they moon caps or whatever they call them so just you know very kind of period correct um drop and period correct uh you know wheels and tires and nothing just classy you know i didn't want to go too crazy like we do on like we've done on the 55 nomad big wheels big billets i, I wanted to keep it you know to the era it's a cool car man very hard to find you know these cars are not out there very desirable uh, but then again you know people love the 57 right 57 is the one I think I think the Buick is the best looking hardtop wagon ever made and you can make the case that the Buick Caballero 1957 is the best looking, best looking station wagon ever made. Yes, a four door <laughs> is the best looking station wagon ever made. You, you heard it here first. And I'm a Nomad guy too, you know. 56 Nomads are very tough to beat, you know. Great styling. 57 Caballero is a work of art. Very much like the 56 Nomad. It's got great lines, great lines. 57 Caballero has like this trim that comes down and shoots forward and it's very much like the roof, the hard top opening, the side trim. Just flows really nice. But anyways. Um, these cars, uh, you know, this is the only one in town. Uh, who knows how many are in Arizona? They made 5,000 Super 88s. Who knows how many are left? When you see them for sale, they're pretty rough. They're really rough. <laughs> Nothing fancy. 371. Single carburetor. Doesn't have the J2, right? J2 is uh, the tri-power and um, uh, tri-power two, uh, three two-barrel carburetors. I don't know what the horsepower rating is on that. The 371 cubic inch, and they did this in 57, 58. I think this those two years, I don't know what they did after. Um, but Oldsmobile, you know, they were... They were definitely trying to get into the performance, at least for those two years. Um, the J2 is a very interesting setup. It doesn't have a progressive linkage. It's a vacuum operated linkage. So when you put your foot into it, you get to a certain point and all three, man, they open up. So you go from cruising to whoa which is really cool uh, i love that that it's vacuum vacuum operated and not progressive I, th I just think that's a cool little detail and my 57 has that uh interesting enough the air cleaners are the hardest to find of that j2 setup the carburetors and manifold they're out there not very hard at all it's the air cleaners that are hard to find people chuck the air cleaners um they they put those like you know the single air cleaners little cupcake things on there and uh uh they threw away the the big tri-power air cleaner so they're very desirable thousand dollars fifteen hundred for the air cleaner when i bought my 57 the owner tried to 
haggle that air cleaner into the deal because I, I paid 7200 or something, 8000 And he really wanted that air cleaner, man. He told me he'd knock off a grand on the price. I said, no way, man. I want that air cleaner, you know? I, I wasn't sure at the time, you know, why he... And then I started researching it, and then I found out. You know, they make a lot of tri-power air cleaners, so they're not... Like, Chevys aren't, like, super hard to find, tri-power air cleaners, for 58, and, you know, they, they make a lot. They reproduce all that stuff, you know? I'm pretty sure. Cadillacs, they don't. We have a 59 Cadillac with a tri-power. Um, Eldorado, those are expensive tr uh, air cleaners, so... Um, Cadillac, I don't know if they do Pontiac or not. All that stuff is cool. The dual quads. Oh, I love all that stuff, man. The air cleaners. Just a driver. Uh, I'm going to start her up because the truck's probably going to come here soon. I'm going to cut off the video just for a moment here.